Good morning, welcome back. I'm so happy you're here. Today is a nice, bright, and sunny morning. I live for these mornings. I just get up and I'm like, let's take on a new day. It feels so good. I had to restock on a bunch of non-toxic products, so I will be sharing that in this video. Keep watching if you want some product recommendations. I am really excited because I'm about to do my makeup and I don't necessarily need to do my makeup today. Today would probably be a no makeup day, but I got this new foundation that I'm trying out. I love my OG Organics foundation stick but i'm looking for something a little bit more light something that lets my skin breathe so that we can get the skin and acne cleared up for my wedding in july i'm hoping that this is going to work out i also want something that's a little bit more dewy Just playing with some foundations of course they're not toxic let's do our makeup for the day okay we're going in with the ilia foundation this is their super serum skin tint it has spf 40 which is so great i feel like this is a great summer foundation especially with the spf shake it i got the shade st7 diaz i feel like i nailed it i put it on the back of my hand last night and it looked really really good for skin tone reference i am usually like a neutral undertone and i try to go for a little bit darker foundation stick that i have from og organics is a little bit light for my skin i will admit uh sometimes i look back at photos and i'm like my face does not match my body um it also has niacinamide squalene and hyaluronic acid which i love that it has hyaluronic acid because i my skin needs that hydration i think i'm gonna do it on the back of my hand so i'm not adding bacteria to this pump but it's supposed to be very liquidy and we'll see what happens I've seen most people put this on with their hands I think this color is perfect I see how it's so dewy it's definitely nice and dewy okay I have to go in with a little more I love the feeling of it. It's not as thick as this foundation stick. Like it looks like a natural, it looks like a natural skin, which I love. And it's dewy, which is also really nice. I did watch a video and someone said that they kind of let it sit and then went on top of it with one more kind of layer. So I might try that on the areas where it needs a little bit more coverage, but so far I like it a lot. It's been like a minute or so. I honestly can't tell if that helped, but I'm really enjoying how it looks on my skin. Okay, next I'm gonna go in with my Oju Organic Sculpted Face Stick in Amber. Hundred percent pure pigments and blush in Cherry. This is the Kosis Clear Brow Gel. I've been loving this. For mascara, I'm doing the Lily Lolo Mascara in Black. And my favorite lip combo lately has been, so I will do this EOS Organic Chapstick for a little hydration. Then I'll go in with this Fruit Pigmented Lipstick from 100% Pure, it's in Peach Bellini. I'll just do like one pass on that. It's not too pigmented. And then I will go in with this gloss. This is by Charlotte Cook Cosmetics. I tried to find their Instagram and honestly, I think, I don't know if they're still in business. See, any clean lip gloss would work adds a little gloss this feels so natural but i feel i feel beautiful i love this foundation so far it feels so light like not even a second layer of skin it just feels like my skin it's super glowy and dewy we'll see how it wears throughout the day here's a little bit of a better look i don't know if you could see it like outside of the direct sunlight but i really really like how it feels and it looks i have lots of unevenness on my skin redness bumps and this just feels like I'm not even wearing anything, but it looks like I'm wearing, like I just have natural skin. I don't know, it looks really good. Let's make some breakfast. I think I wanna make, I think I wanna make some avocado toast. promise you guys a little restock so let me share some things that we recently got oh 
actually off of Amazon, so I will link everything on my storefront. First, we had to restock up on our Molly Sud. I got the larger bag because it's actually cheaper to get more and we always use this. Scent is citrus, you can get unscented. It's their dishwasher detergent pod and they are non-toxic. We love these, they work. This is probably like my fourth repurchase, so good. If you're looking for a cleaner alternative to a liquid IV, this is the best. I tried one other brand and I didn't love the taste and flavoring. I tried almost every flavor in here and there's probably just one that I'm not, that I don't love, the Sunrise Orange, just because I grew up taking vitamins that taste like this orange and I just, anything that's orange, even orange soda, like the vitamins ruined it for me. So that taste I don't love, but if you like orange, you'll like it. There's fresh lemon, sunrise orange, wild berry, watermelon, cherry pomegranate, and strawberry lemonade. I got the sample, I got the variety pack because I wanted to try all the flavors. I would say strawberry lemonade, watermelon, I mean, honestly, they're all good. Watermelon's really good, love strawberry lemonade. Cherry pomegranate, I've been putting into my drink at night before going to bed, and I'll do a little bit of tart cherry juice, um, a little bit of water. Um, if I'm feeling fancy and it's like a Friday night, I'll do seltzer. I'm still on my dry January kick, even though it's March 1st. Um, I'm just gonna keep going until I choose not to, but I've been doing um, seltzer, cherry pomegranate, or any one of these, honestly, and then some tart cherry juice, and it'll be like a nice little mocktail. I've been loving that. I also did Olipop um, and tart cherry juice. I don't think I added this, but I've been having fun with my mocktails. I love all the flavors. There's no aftertaste. Ben loves it. He's super picky when it comes to, honestly, anything, and he likes this too. And the ingredients are really clean. So check it out. So technically that's not a restock. That was something that I tried out. Next is toothpaste. I love the brand Risewell for toothpaste, floss, their mouthwash is really good. We like this. We've gone through so many different natural toothpastes and Ben, again, he's picky. He loves this one. Um, this is their wild mint toothpaste and we love this one. This has been a repurchase for a while now. Last up, we're talking skincare. I mentioned in my last video that I was gonna purchase this. This is a great lightweight, non-toxic moisturizer. This is from Earth Harbor. I love everything from their brand. This is their nutrient glow moisturizer. It has spirulina and matcha in it. I'm a matcha girl. I love that, but it's super Super lightweight. I wanted something that can let my skin breathe because I did go to my facial in the last vlog and um, they said I needed a light moisturizer to add into my routine because I took away too much hydration. So really am excited to add this back into my skincare routine. I did use this a while back. I don't know why I never repurchased it because it's so great. I was like, oh yes, I definitely know what I'm adding into my routine. Those are my restocks. I know a lot of you are looking for some new products and clean swaps and that's why I'm here. sent a few pieces over I styled it this way today I actually wore it yesterday I did pink underneath and then jeans and it was so cute we went to Georgetown anyway um, and then I just did a black base my top is from Cezanne I love these they're just like a basic organic cotton pink top I have one in white and one in black they're perfect I pull them out all the time now my leggings are just black leggings and my sneakers are from Nike I don't know why but I for some reason if I'm home and I have my shoes on I feel like I'm like ready to take on the day. I work at home with my shoes on because if I don't, I feel like I am ready to just like sit on the couch and relax. A little bit later in the afternoon and I kind of feel a slump coming on. I'm going to grab an alley pop and I think I'm going to go up to the rooftop or somewhere in my building to get some sunlight and get some work done. I'm going to continue working up there and hopefully feel a little bit more motivated and just kind of change up my scenery. <laughs> We're doing a live taste test here. I've never tried the cream soda before. I just got my Olipop subscription order in and I got the classic pack, which comes with their Dr. Pepper, their root beer, their cola, cream soda. Yeah, I think that's all, all of them. I like all of those. I have not tried this one before, so let's try it. I don't know if there's any caffeine in it. Oh my gosh, that's so good. Wow, that is a treat. It's only two grams of sugar. They use, um, I believe, monk fruit, Devia. They don't use monk fruit, but so good. This is like a nice little afternoon treat. 
It's a little bit sweet. Mm -mm -mm. Okay, let's go do some work. <gasps> Hi, bud. What do you bring me? What do you bring me? Can I have it? Ah. Go get it. Oh, dude. Who's a good boy? Who's a good boy? This is you. This is you. Sit. Oh, sit. Mm -hmm. Close my laptop for the day. I wanted to update you guys on the foundation. I feel like overall it looks pretty good. There are some things that are kind of peeking through a little bit. This I had to retouch and then obviously you could see it now it's like kind of shown through i have been touching it so that does not help overall it looks good i like the shine that it gives i don't feel like my skin got overly oily especially with it starting out so dewy so yeah i think this is a go for me it's enough where i feel like it's a pass it's super natural honestly it doesn't even no now that i'm looking at it close like it really doesn't look bad at all it's just that one area that i honestly was touching i think it looks good for dinner i am making a really easy dinner ben should be home very soon i'm making tortellini from trader joe's and pasta sauce that i had in my fridge quick and easy and he's gonna come home we're gonna actually play some video games together something about me that you might not know i used to play call of duty in high school with one of my best friends and we used to play zombies together all the time and then ben got a ps5 we'll play at night together when he gets home and since it's friday so we're gonna have fun and play some video games together i feel like this is better light right over my stove like the wear it looks really good actually I love the dewiness of this foundation for sure. I'm gonna play a little bit before he gets home. We are ready for takeoff. My parents gifted me this little light. They sent me this and some Italian cookies that we were obsessed with eating in Italy and I literally am on the second bag. They're so good. I'll have to show you them. This light, it's from Zafferano. It's the light that you see on the tables in restaurants. I don't know if you can take me seriously with this he these headphones on. This is actually a really great alternative to like a candle because I feel like with diffusers, you don't really get that flame or like kind of, I think the word's huga, haiji, haiga. What am I saying? Follow me here. This is the little book of huga. Wait, let me take these headphones off for a second. They believe in these different ways to kind of live in like a cozy way. The art of creating intimacy, coziness of the soul, and the absence of annoyance, seeking pleasure from the presence of soothing things, coziness together. They believe in lighting candles, but none of their candles are scented candles. It says, however, scented candles are not a big thing. In fact, Denmark's oldest producer of candles doesn't even include scented candles in their product range. I remember reading that. So they don't even use scented candles it's just the idea of lighting a candle and that flame the fire and the flame giving off the huga and that feeling of like coziness and comfort in a non-toxic lifestyle i don't burn candles that are scented that aren't non-toxic which is very hard to find and they're expensive but this gives off that feeling of like lighting a candle without the scent honestly just like put this on with your diffuser you're golden like you have that feeling so you can lower the brightness too you hold it and lower the brightness it also changes color temperature i have not figured out how to do that yet these are a little bit pricey but you can find them on amazon for cheaper you can find like a knockoff get one of these and you can experience huga that's that was such a long spiral i love it so much thanks mom and dad long story short i like to turn this on because it just kind of like gives that subtle ambiance and this book i got i think i got it at goodwill i think i got it at goodwill but it's an interesting read 